Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. It's a pleasure to see you once again in another class, in another opportunity to learn. Today is our class number 14. Welcome. Let me just change the background and we will start. Okay. So today is a very different day. I asked you yesterday to, wrote, to write a little paragraph about something specific, right? Mm -hmm. Hi, good evening, Mr. Carlos. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Elba, Juan, Mr. Julio, Anita, and Carlos. Welcome to your class. So yesterday, I asked you to write a little bit about your last Christmas, right? <laughs> you are doing it right now. Ahorita, teacher. Now I know you did your homework, right? Any of my students is doing homework right now, right? <laughs> So I hope you have your homework ready. We are going to use it. Uh, We're going to use it today for the class, okay? So it is very important because we are going to practice a little bit. We're going to practice a little bit of reading. We are going to practice also a bit of speaking. And for sure, we are going to stop a little bit on the platform to see the advancements that you have had. Remember that we finish next week, right? Remember that we finish the course next week. So everything on the platform should be ready, right? Everything on the platform should be done. Para esta altura ya tendrían que haber terminado la mayoría de cosas, si no es que ya terminaron todo. Did you finish everything on the platform, yes. students? Yes. Okay. Very good job, very good job. <laughs> So that is the important part, right? If you finish everything on the platform, it is better because you don't have problems, right? If you finish with everything, then there is no problem for you. And I think you can get your certificate. Once you finish, you click and you get your certificate. I don't know if you have it. Yes. Do you have your certificate? No, because, no. Not because they say that we need to finish the 80 80%. Oh, okay. So, uh, you haven't you haven't uh, did you finish everything but you don't have 80%? No, I have uh, 10%. You have 100. <laughs> That's fantastic. <Yeah. laughs> so, the day that you finish, you are going to get your certificate. So, I think on Tuesday. Next no. Tuesday. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to look for that information for us to be in the same track, okay? I am going to ask the person in charge to see uh, when are the certificates going to be available, okay? So if you finish the platform with 100%, that's perfect. Ya tiene, a Jenny ya le aparece. Sí, ya me aparece. Y a Anita ya le aparece, todavía no. I think I'm going to check Yes, we need to check. Because yesterday I checked and I didn't. Okay, so maybe they are they are there already. So we need to check. If not on Monday, we are going to have the opportunity to finish with everything on the platform because on Tuesday you have a presentations. You have an evaluation on Tuesday. What? 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 Ah, yes. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to tell you on Saturday, but it's better if I tell you now. On Tuesday, you have your final evaluation as part of the class. This is something that I do with the students for, uh, for me to make sure that you finish and that you learn all the contents of the module. What is the presentation going to be about? The presentation is going to be a little biography about you in third person. 
okay? You are going to be talking about you, a little biography, but you are going to describe the biography in third person. For example, okay, vamos a hacer una biografía. Vamos a hacer una biografía, de ustedes mismos una autobiografía, pero en tercera persona. No va a ser como, Ana, oh. I, I am Ana and I was born Esto in... No comida. Right? No, no trajimos comida. Todos tenemos... Sí. <risa> de la Marta. También sé. No, 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 no. No fuimos a ver a la Marta tampoco. <risa> ok. I, I, I close your microphone, Mr. Jorge. So, the idea of the presentation, the final presentation is very short. Right, the presentation has to be very short, like two or three minutes, and you are going to describe your biography. On Monday, I am going to do my example. I am going to send you some examples on the weekend, right? Le voy a enviar ejemplos el fin de semana, como la pueden crear. Something short, right? Something short. You are not going to say every single day of your life up to today, right? And she was born in 1984, in September 15. On September 16, she smiled for the first time. On September 17, no, my God, no. 37 years of description, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. So uh, it has to be something short about you, uh, where did you study? Uh, what did you do in your life that was important? If you got married, uh, I don't know, if you traveled, you have to highlight important events of your life in a, an autobiography, right? Something short, two or three minutes, but you are going to say, today I am going to talk about Natalie. Natalie was born on September 15, 1984. She was the daughter of Carmen and Ernesto. She studied kindergarten in Gabriela Mistral School in Santa Ana. Then she uh, discovered that she liked English and she started to learn English when she was 10 years old, right? When she was 14, she uh, knew that English was for her. And then you start telling the story of your life in third person. La historia de su vida, los puntos más importantes, in third person. If you want to use pictures, perfect. If you want to use a, a PowerPoint with little pictures of you, when you were a baby, a little child, of your wedding, events, whatever, you can use it, right? You can use pictures, you can use material. If you want to have the pictures, the real life pictures, you can do it. Or if you don't want to use pictures, it's okay, right? The idea is that you describe your life. Eso no lo vamos a hallar ni en Google, no lo vamos a hallar en Wikipedia. We are not going to go to the internet because the information is here. It's your information, okay? That's why I am not going to ask you for the life of a famous person, right? Yo les pudiera pedir una biografía de Elvis, de, no sé, de Ricky Martin, etc. But a los artistas que quiero conocer yo son los que están aquí, okay? So that's why. Ahí no andan investigando que cuando nació, que cuando se casó, cómo se llamaba la esposa, dónde viajó. No, porque los que saben su vida son ustedes mismos. Ahí sí se le olvida un evento, ya pone otro y that's it, right? <ríe> La única cosa que tienen que hacer es organizar lo que quieren compartir. Obviamente hacerlo en pasado y obviamente hacerlo en tercera persona porque van a estar presentando aquí a la estrella de la noche que es usted mismo. So that's the evaluation about. It is on Tuesday. So we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday to prepare. We have four days to prepare. No los quiero estresados el martes en la mañana. The answer I haven't finished. No, four days. We have four days to prepare, okay? And it's going to be your final evaluation, okay? And then uh, that is going to be the last event. On Monday, we check that all the things in the platform are completed. We are going to finish with the final topic. And 
on Tuesday you present, okay? Yes, so, yes teacher, I have uh, my certificate. Ah, you got yeah. your certificate, yay. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> also, also please download them, descarguenlo, porque así el lunes que hagamos la revisión de la plataforma, ya todos me dicen, I have my certificate, and you can show it to me, okay? okay. Good. So, my dear students, any question about the evaluation? Preguntas, dudas, comentarios, quejas de la evaluación? Teacher. Yes, Evelyn. Eh, yo acabo de entrar y no sé si entendí mal o entendí bien. Perdón, lo siento. <laughs> es que vengo llegando. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> Evelyn solo entró y examen, 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 examen. <laughs> I was like, wow. I didn't total. <laughs> no, it's for Tuesday. El, la, el, la presentación oral es para el martes. Es acerca de usted, su autobiografía. En pasado, ah, obviamente. Pasado, en pasado. Y, y obviamente en tercera persona. No va a decir, I was born. No, Evelyn was born in, como que estuviera, estuviera hablando de ese artista favorito. Ah, okay. Que es usted. Okay. Gracias. Ok, perfect. You see. Don't worry about presentations. Don't worry about that. We are going to work today. Yesterday, I told you to uh, write a little bit about what you did on your last Christmas, right? I am going to uh, create little groups for you to practice before presenting, okay? You are going to go to the groups and present on the groups. Right on the group, you are going to present about your last Christmas. Say like last Christmas, I did this and this, I did that and blah, 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 for you to practice. And then we're going to come back and you're going to present here for everybody, okay? So we are going to go to the little groups right now. I am going to send you to the groups. It's going to be like groups of two or three people. So you can practice, practice a little bit of pronunciation. If you listen to a problem on pronunciation, Help the person, ¿ok? Si escucha que su compañero se equivoque en alguna palabra, no lo dejen morir ahí. Ah, sí, está, está chido, te quedó bello. No, right. Help the person. Help the person. So, like, remember, it's not parents. It's not, it's not parents. It's parents. Parents. It's not friends. It's friends. Right? It's not danced. It's danced. Right? Remember, practice and help each other. So we are going to go to the groups right now for you to practice your speech and we're going to come back and present, okay? So let's go and do it right now. Accept my invitation to go to the groups. There you go. Remember the topic is last Christmas. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Elba, accept my invitation. Abigail. And Elmer, that it's living right now, very good. Abigail, did you receive my invitation? Perdón, es que me había sacado el internet, lo tengo mal. Ah, ok. Ahorita se la vuelvo a enviar. Bueno. It's... Ok, ok. Just give me one second. And I am going to send you to... Ok. There you go. Okay, and there you are. So, all my students have been assigned to different groups. They are going to practice a little bit about their speech for uh, about, sorry, what they did last Christmas. They are going to come back to the class and present. So we are going to give them a couple of seconds for them to 
um, join the groups for them to organize. And then we are going to enter to the different groups and see what they are doing. And later, I went to the supermarket with my sister, and I ate a lot of chicken. And I don't know, I visited to my best friends, and, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, I I drank a lot of beers in the night, and finally, I. I, I don't know, only that, that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, only that you say, that's it. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> cool, I joined Cesar to the group, okay. Hello, Cesar, we are practicing a little bit about the paragraph uh, of the things that you did last Christmas, okay? We are practicing a little bit on that. So, Eduardo, go ahead, continue. Um, I visited my mom, grandma, grandma, and brother. Very happy. And I, I had to stay in my house all the time uh, for Christmas and end the year. Anyway. <laughs> What about your, your holidays? What are you did? Uh -huh, my dear students, what did you do on your holidays? Thank you, Janita, for sharing. I was here, huh? Hidden. <laughs> Okay, who is next? Carlos or Elba? ¿Quién sigue para compartir? Okay. Yo voy a ver. Go ahead. At Christmas, I went with my children and my wife to buy new clothes. We had family dinner for me. I didn't... Inglés no hay que complicarse. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's okay. Bueno, yo, yo, Travel the the Yahara. giving giving thanks to God for the family onion union, and we talked talked about the goals for next year. Entonces serían have 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 uh -huh, have uh -huh. and prayer. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. about the goal for the next year. Goals is como metas para el siguiente año. Okay. Uh -huh. Very short. <laughs> My paragraph. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, excellent. You see, I, I was listening to you like, huh, huh, what are they doing? I said, okay, that's very good. Did you all finish practicing? Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Yes. So, uh, yes. Jorge, I think Jorge needs a little bit more practice, okay? Practice a bit with Jorge and listen to him again, okay? Escuchen de nuevo a Jorge. Traten de ayudarle en cualquier pronunciación que necesite, okay? We are going back in a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. Estamos anotando las ideas. Uh -huh. <laughs> I saw you very busy and very silent. And I said, like, hmm, what are they doing? I said, okay, so did you finish practicing? Yes. Yeah. No problems. Anybody had difficulties? Nadie no. tuvo problemas. Okay, no problems with pronunciation or anything? Maybe the last day, the next day. Of the, the, the next day. <laughs> Well, yes, but that, those problems, I mean, we, we cannot work on, on that. I mean, yes, the, the after party. Yes. The after party was the problem. The right? cruda. <laughs> in, that, in that case, in English, you say the hangover. The hang? Hangover. Hangover is the, it's that, right? Exactly that, what you are talking about. It's the, the after process of drinking too much the day before. Okay. The hangover. The hangover, right? Hangover, it means a uh, resaca. Yes, that's the meaning of that. Well, so if you finish practicing, we are going to go back to the main session right now. And for sure, we are going to practice a bit on, a, on the main session with everybody. So if you didn't have any problem, so we're going to go back right now. Welcome back, my dear students. So we are going to go one by one, sharing a little bit of what you did on your last Christmas, right? We are going to work on that right now. And you are going to go and share a little bit of your story during last Christmas, okay? So I don't know if I have a volunteer to start. Volunteers to start. No, finger credit. Ah, Jenny. Jenny wants to start. Okay, so Jenny is going to choose the next one. Okay, así que preparados todos porque Jenny escoge el siguiente. Okay. <laughs> it's like. At least at last Christmas. Go ahead. We had, at last Christmas, we had a special dinner with my family. We prayed giving thanks for, to God for the family union. And we talked, talked about the goals for next year. Very All good job. Very good job. Excellent. So you get you thank God for all the benefits and you talk about the goals for the next year. What a beautiful celebration. Is that the way you celebrate every year? Esa es la tradición de todos los años. Yes. That's fantastic. Very beautiful, Jenny. Thank you very much. Jenny, who's next? <laughs> and, and everybody's like, Carlos, Carlos Regalado. <laughs> Carlos, Carlos is going to take the prize of the most uh, chosen men to participate, right? I am going to give him the, the awards. Chan, cha, chan, cha, 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 cha. <laughs> the top 10 award, the most participative man. Yeah, this is not a Grammy. This is the, the owl of the journal. Good. <laughs> Go ahead, Carlos. Action. Okay. At Christmas, I went with my children and my wife to buy new clothes. We had a family dinner for me. I didn't by anything. Okay. For you, you didn't buy anything for you. Why? 
¿Por qué no se compró nada usted? ¿Ah? Ah, no. Uh, so, so, you so, yeah. Because all is expensive. Everything, everything is expensive in, in this life, right? So yeah, when you when you um, get to a, a moment in your life, you don't buy anything for you, just for them. Yeah, just for the kids. Okay, good, Carlos, but it was very nice. Let's give a clap to Carlos. Un aplauso para Carlos. Yay. Carlitos, who's next? Ah, lo voy a quitar. Okay. Jenny, Let's go. Eduardo. Jenny, ya pasó. Eduardo, go ahead. Eduardo, it's your turn. No, 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 leave it there. Leave it there. Um, okay. The things that I did for Christmas last year. I visited my mom, grandma, and brother. And we prepared a special dinner. And we spent a really good time together. After that, I opened the present. I also met, met some old friends and we talked a lot. Um, after that, we went to a party and we ate, drank, and danced. We had a lot of fun. Great. Great, very good job. So you met your friends, you danced, you ate and everything. Very nice job, Mr. Eduardo. Excellent paragraph, very good. Who's next, okay. Mr. Eduardo? Uh, uh, get over it. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Abigail Morales. Abigail, go ahead. Your partner in the group. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, in my last dinner, I did many things. And I remember that I woke up very early and I took a shower. And later I went to the supermarket with my sister and I cooked with my, with my brother and I bought very very beers in the supermarket and i bought alcohol a little alcohol <laughs> and i visited to my best friends <laughs> and i visited to my best friends and and we spoke a lot and finally i danced together and i slept okay very good job very nice job right we we bought uh, some some drinks you say a little bit just a few. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Abigail. <laughs> very nice. Una, dos, dos, nada más. Dos o tres. <laughs> That's the thing that we say always. <laughs> Solo dos lleva, Ale. <laughs> dos, ca. Botellas. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Abigail, who's next? Carlos regalado. Anoche ya pasó. <laughs> Uh, Jenny? No, Jenny was the first one. She was the first one. Uh, Daisy. Daisy. Daisy Perez. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. At uh, Christmas, I cooked bread with chicken. I went to church and I was with my family celebrate and ate. Easy and simple, right to the point. Very nice. Yes. So you you ate, you dance, you celebrate with your family, and that's it, right? Very good job, Daisy. Very nice. Daisy, who's next? Janira mm. Mendo. Janira, go ahead. Okay. Um, I went to Santa Ana with my family. The microphone, Janita. There you go. See? Yeah. Now I, I, can... went, I went to Santa Ana to pass the Christmas with my family and eat the dinner with them. Uh, chicken and tamales. Hey, yes. <laughs> but uh, I don't like the uh, 
pyrotechnics, but was a beautiful experience with my family. Very. All of them with me in meat. Hey, Only. that's very nice, very good. Yeah, I don't like the fireworks either. I think they contaminate too much and they are very uh -huh. noisy. And it's a okay. lot of noise, I don't like it. Well, thank you, Yanira, you went to Santa Ana. Beautiful Santa Ana. Yanira, who's next? The next one? Pues, sería Elba. Elba, go ahead. Elba Carolina. Action. Elba Carolina. Elvita, huh? she went to buy pupusas, maybe. Thank you, Elmer. Ah, now she's there. <laughs> Elmer. This is my friend for Christmas. We celebrate Christmas with a special dinner and then we have a party. The day after Christmas, we are going for a walk to lay the quad pick. Hey, the day after Christmas, you went to Coatepeque Lake. Very nice. It's a very beautiful place. I love Coatepeque Lake. Very nice. Yes. Elba, who's next? Julio. Julio, go ahead. <laughs> the story of my most recent Christmas, I woke up very early and breakfast and then went to the supermarket to buy some vegetables, drinks, and various gift items. We went from home, lunch, clean the house and finish decorating with some Christmas light and decoration. Then visit my parents, brothers, and their children. We have dinner written, we listen to music, um, we share some gift and we talk, we talk, and then we go to rest. That's it. Very excellent description, right? Very detailed. I really like it. It was very detailed during the whole day. Very nice, Mr. Julio. Thank you very much. Who's next? Julio, throw the dice. Who's next? Um, Juan Eduardo. Uh, Eduardo already did it. He finished. Juan, 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 ah, Juan, 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 Juancito, 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 hey, Juancito left. Ah, ya sentía que le tocaba, me huyó. Se dio a la fuga. Elmer Mauricio, then. <laughs> okay, Elmer Mauricio, I, cho I choose you. Like a, doctor. like a Pokemon, the doctor, doctor, <laughs> Dr. Elmer, go ahead. Dedocraticamente. Yeah, like this, ching. <laughs> go ahead. Okay, teacher. In last Christmas, I met with my family. I visited my mother and my brothers. That day, my wife didn't cook for dinner. We open it, open it, present all open, together. Uh -huh. I always call, call it my sister because I live in USA. Only that teacher. Very nice, right? So she didn't cook at all. What a, yes. what a, what a good man you are. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that, 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 uh, she cooked, cooked it for December 31st. <laughs> but for Christmas, no. <laughs> so, no, but no, little, Christmas, little no. vacation, right? <laughs> that's yeah, it, that's yeah. very good. <laughs> Mr. Elmer, who's next? Uh, it's difficult. <laughs> Jorge, Jorge Luis. <laughs> Jorge Luis. Yeah, well. <laughs> Jorge, Jorge Luis. Jorge Luis. Al compañero Jorge Luis. Oh, Jorge Luis, it's your turn. Go ahead. Okay. Me turn. My turn, you say. My turn, my turn. Excellent. 
my turn. Uh, on Christmas in my house, we celebrate the birth of the child Jesus or happy birthday. <laughs> oh, ha happy birthday. Happy birthday, we, Jesus. Yeah, uh, we went to the short church the last year on December 24th. It's, it is night, we had a Christmas dinner and we blow out fireworks. We burn only. Okay. Only. <laughs> okay. Remember when you say we blow out, uh, we blow out fireworks. Blow. Yeah, but it's burn. We burn fireworks. We burn. Ah, we burn. We, we burn. blow out. <laughs> we burn fireworks. And you say we celebrated Jesus' birth, right? Jesus' birth. Jesus' birth. Yeah, okay. because you don't say like, happy birthday to you, to <laughs> Jesus, right? That is happy birthday, Jesus. No, right? We celebrate Jesus' birth. Jesus' birth, okay. Right, good, good. We, we, we respect, we respect, okay? We respect you a lot. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's the difference. But for the rest, it was very good, Mr. Jorge. You have advanced a lot. Very nice. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Do you see the difference, Mr. Jorge? ¿Se okay. acuerda del primer día que platicó aquí en clase? Que le costaba y se nos trababa y que no sé qué. And now you are looking very confident at the moment of speaking. So that's very nice. Congratulations, Mr. Jorge. You are advancing okay. a lot. Very good. Thanks, job. gracias. Who's next? <clears throat> Miss Ingrid, Evelyn, or Cesar? Okay. Uh... Ingrid. <laughs> Ingrid, go ahead. I, I never imagined. Ingrid, go ahead. Um, Christmas Day on the fittest of December. Saints and Maktao, the Patronum Side Festival, are in honor at the Virgin of Concepcion. The East continues with the inauguration of the Christ Lay in the park and from there. Christmas Bay with Christmas workshop, event, and celebration Catholics. Okay, it's a Catholic celebration. A Catholic celebration. Ingrid, I am going to ask you please to send me the paragraph, okay? But in a private message, okay? Send me the, the paragraph in a private message and we are going to practice, okay? Envíame okay. el párrafo en un mensaje privado y lo vamos a practicar la pronunciación. Because the idea is nice, but we need to work a little bit on pronunciation. Falta un poquito de práctica en pronunciación. Y ahí ya estamos, estamos listos. So send me the paragraph, English, and okay. I'm going to help you to practice. And let's see, thank Mr. You. Cesar Montesino. Thank you, English. Cesar, action. Hi. Um, good family. In the party, Merry Christmas, and drunk, drunk, and soda and wine, and heating power, little with turkey. You you did the, the power? No, the turkey. The turkey. Turkey, okay. The power, okay. the power, no, right? The, the power. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what was the final sentence? ¿Cuál fue la última oración que compartió Mr. César? Es un little week child. Después, después nosotros platicamos. Ah, and later we talk. And later ah, we talk. Okay. And later we talk. We talk. Okay, César, exactly as Ingrid, me puede enviar el párrafo, lo rearmamos y lo practicamos. Okay. Envíamelo un mensaje okay. privado, ¿ok? Perfect. And we're going to finish with Evelyn. Evelyn. Go ahead. I guess. Ahorita. My Christmas, we met a turkey with my sister and they with have dinner as a family and we were, no, we wake waiting the Mr. Week saga and the week sleep 
eh, in eh, until ten in the morning. <laughs> you slept. You slept until ten in the morning the next day. That is the best part of Christmas, right? When you sleep late. Very good job. So I think I am not missing anybody. It was a very nice uh, practice. Very good job. Very good Ana, job. Ana Mendoza, Ana Mendoza is missing. You see, a am I missing anybody? <laughs> Jenny. <laughs> you see, yo no falta nadie. No, no. Ah, nadie, teacher, siga, siga. Ay, Anita, go ahead. Para que practique. <laughs> Ana, go ahead. Yeah, bad girl, Jenny. <laughs> okay, the last Christmas, I got up at four, at four and we finished to make tamales. It's a hard, It's a hard work. work. Yes, like a six. We went to the market to buy tomatoes, radish, lettuce, and other things for the pants. <laughs> for the bread or for the turkey. Uh, and then uh, we returned to the house like at uh, eight. And we, we cut the turkeys because we cut two turkeys. Oh, we, okay. We have uh, uh, a grown family. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> then we waited all the family to came to the to to came at the home and the night for have the dinner. Finally, we start dance and we did some games and we drunk drank drank some wine beers something like that and we start and we start uh awake awake we stay awake, awake. or we stayed up and we stay up until 5 a.m oh my god so you and we sleep all the day <laughs> oh my god almost 24 hours yes imagine you woke up at five and then you went to sleep at four. Oh my god so yeah. When you say, for example, and this is for everybody, when you say sentences like, I went to boat, right? You say, I went, you have the past tense there. I went to, and you have an infinitive. Si después del pasado ya tiene un infinitivo, I went to buy, right? I went to sleep, right? I decided to cook because you have the past tense, an infinitive, and that gives you the, the point for you to go with a normal verb. So check on the verbs and correct that. Thank you very much, everybody. Now I am not missing anyone. All of you participated already. That's pretty awesome. So we are going to work a little bit before we go uh, today. We are going to work a bit on, uh, well, we did this yesterday. And this was a, a little compilation of what we were supposed to do. But about last summer in general, no, I said, no, we are going to talk about last Christmas. So that's why I changed this. And many of you did many interesting things. For example, many of you cook, many of you danced, many of you uh, burned fireworks, many of you uh, celebrated with family. And you see, we have a lot of things in common, right? That we do for Christmas. Many of you have tamales for dinner and many of you have turkey and that is pretty good. So in order to finish with this part of the topic, I have here three different readings about three different weekends and they have different stories. I have the story of Kelly, I have the story of Robert and I have the story of Edding. And they have different situations on their weekend. And we are going to check the three of them. So I will ask three people in the class to read them. And I am going to go with the ones that don't speak that much because I know that Julio is always participating. Eduardo is always participating. Mr. Elmer, it loves to participate, but we're going to go and take 
Daisy is going to help me. Daisy, uh, Abigail, and Evelyn. The three of you are going to read the paragraph. Daisy, Abigail, and Evelyn. So Daisy is going to read paragraph number one. Okay, oh. let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see it better. Okay, go ahead. Okay. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend, Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family were. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served, served a wonderful meal. I am really happy for her and I really like her husband. Okay. Husband. Very good. In this one, we say this is her. 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 Okay. Here is a key, right? Her is ella. O suyo de ella, right? Her. Okay. And let's see. Uh, great. I had a great weekend. And also, when you say, I went to my best friend Helen's wedding, right? This is one word in that case. And she got married. She looked fantastic she wore a beautiful dress right and her parents served a wonderful meal do you know all the words in this paragraph saben todas las palabras de este párrafo no hay ninguna palabra nueva para usted paragraph number one um awful 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 Let's see, is it, is it in the first paragraph? Ah, it's in the second one. But we're going to read it right now. I had an awful weekend. Awful is, for example, in the levels. Bad, horrible, terrible, awful. It's like more than terrible. It's like horrible, pero horrible de lo más horrible que hay. Awful. That's the meaning of awful, okay? Any other question about the first paragraph? No? Teacher, uh, yeah. how, how do you mean word? What's the meaning? What's, like what's, the mean the, what's the meaning word? Word is the past tense of where. Where means usar. Word is the past tense. Usó un lindo vestido, right? She wore a beautiful dress. Es el pasado de where, lo que usamos con la ropa, where. Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Any other question? No? Three, two, one. Okay, let's go with the next. Yes, yes, Yanira. Eh, broke down is Sarrino. Yeah. Uh, that's from the second one. The car broke down. It's like, de, 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 boom. Nothing, right? It broke down. Yeah, the car broke down because that's the word, right? Broke down is arruinarse. That's a compound noun. Okay. It broke down. Thank you, teacher. Very good job. Thank you very much. And number two. Number two, please go ahead. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend, Helen, with, with the, she got married uh, at home. Are uh, here? No. Are no, uh, here? Friend? Ah, era el segundo. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. But it's okay. All her friends and family went. Yes. Continue. Okay. Number two. I had, I had an um, I awful. Had awful weekend. My friend and we to rock concert. I had a terrible time. Uh, it looked three, it looked three hours to dry deer. I didn't, I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert, ended. 
in ended or car broke down. I called my parents in the camp and got and us. got us. We finally got home and it, in it them the morning. I am so tired. Very good job. Thank you very much, Evelyn. It says, I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there and I didn't like the music at all. It's like at all is para nada. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally, finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. It's like, oh my God. Very good. Any new word, new vocabulary? If not, we move with editing. Go ahead. Editing number three. Abigail, go ahead. Abigailita. Thank you very much. Perdimos a Abigail. Miss Abigail Morales. Abigail a la una. Abigail a las dos. Abigail a las tres. Thank you, Juan Eduardo. Help me with number three. Excuse me, teacher. I work tonight. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so but can you can you help us to read? Nos puedes ayudar a leer, sí o no? Si no, que nos ayude otro. Okay, okay, voy a intentar, pero no puesto okay. mucha atención. Don't worry. <laughs> I had an interesting weekend. I went shopping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the camps. Campsite. Campsite. First, we put up. Es como pick up, ¿verdad? Pero en pasado. Yeah, put up. Uh -huh. put, up. put up is the like rent. Uh, installed. Uh -huh. Then when boils are a fire, cook dinner and tell stories. We got up early on Sunday and when Fishing. fishing, fishing. I count a fish. I didn't really like camping, but uh, learning a lot. Very good, very good job. But I learned a lot, you say. So I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday, Saturday, and drove to the campsite, campsite. First, we put up the tent. Put up is like armar, right? We put up the tent. Then we build a fire, cook dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. Yay! I caught a fish. Agarré un pez. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Thank you very much to my three volunteers. These were different stories about people. Very good job. Very good job, my dear students. Excellent. So, as you can see here, we have a lot of sentences in past tense, right? All the paragraph was in past, right? I had a great weekend. All the sentence, right? I had a great weekend. This is past tense. I went to my best friend's wedding, past tense. She got married, past tense, right? All her family and friends went, past tense. She looked fantastic past tense. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents serve a wonderful meal, past tense. I am really happy for her. Is it past? Si le digo, I am really happy for her. Es past tense or no? No. No. So, present. Right? It's present. Me siento muy alegre por ella. And I really like her husband. Y me gusta mucho su esposo. Right? In the good way, not in the bad way. But um. for all the rest... <laughs> <laughs> For all the rest is all the story turns into past. Se dan cuenta. Un segundo atrás puede haber sucedido que ya es past tense. 
okay? So today you talk about Christmas, you share it with your friends, you practice your conversations, you practice in the class, you read the stories. All of these things are past things. Good. We have here a little paragraph or a little conversation. Let me just find it. And where did I put it? It's right here. Okay, and I think, yes. Here you have a little introduction to the next part or the last section that we are going to cover that is exactly the same past tense, but with the verb to be. In this case, you complement this with the verb to be. And the conversation goes like this. Mr. Eduardo, can you help me read the conversation please with Janira? Okay. You are Where were you? Ah, continue, continue. No, you are Chuck. Go ahead. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. 1999, uh huh. Hmm. You were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right, right away? No, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah, but I was born here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, I was born here. Very good job. Thank you, Janira. Thank you, Eduardo. Excellent pronunciation at the moment of speaking. Very good job. So. Here, what you can see in this conversation different from the ones that we have been studying is the use of the verb to be in the sentences, right? When you say, where were you born, right? Where were you born? And in this one, you have also the WH question. También tienen las preguntas con WH, no solamente con did. Say, where were you born? Donde naciste, right? And it says, I was born in Korea, right? The next one, it says, I was born. In this case, you don't say, yo fui nacido. You say, yo nací. Right? Yo nací en Corea. Yo fui nacido. <laughs> no, yo nací en Corea. So it says you weren't born in the United States. Entonces tú no naciste, right? In the United States. No, I came here in 1999. You were pretty young. Eras muy joven, right? You were pretty young. I was only 17. Yo solo tenía, yo, so, yo era, o tenía 17 años, right? In this one, you have, did you go to college right away? In this one, you have, yes, a question with did, right? You have a question with did. And here, you continue using the verb to be when you say, no, my English wasn't very good. So I took English classes for two years. Well, your English is really good now, you say. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. And so like, yes, but I was born here. <laughs> the thing is that Chuck's English is good, but he is a Native American speaker, right? So the sentences with was and were, that are the ones that we're going to study on Monday because it's the last topic that I have for you. It's here, okay? I have them right here. It's pretty, uh, it's the same, but as you are using the verb to be, you don't use the next verb in past, right? In this one, you use it to complement. For example, like sentences that you use in simple present, I am from Korea. Yes, so instead of using another verb, you transform the verb to be into past. You say, I was born in Korea. You say, I am pretty young. Say, I was pretty young. You were pretty young. Right, she was 17. You say, I am 17. No, she was 17. Okay, cuando transformamos las oraciones que llevan el verbo to be con su forma normal, ocupamos was or were. So, for you to speak about the situation. And you don't use another verb, right? Aquí ya no le ponemos otro verbo en pasado, porque si no, tuviéramos double past. So, this is going to be the final topic for Monday. If you can investigate a little bit more about this, it will be fantastic. 
So my dear students, it was a pleasure to work with you once again. Remember, we have a lot of things to do. Tenemos mucha tarea pendiente, así que a practicar. So have a beautiful night yes. and I am going to see you on Monday for the next class. Okay, bye. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.